Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing well for the start of this week. I hope you had a great Mother's Day weekend. And now we're ready for week nine of virtual learning. For our assignment this week, we're going to create a drawing. So what you'll need is paper and a pencil. If you'd like to use other materials, you certainly can. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. That's entirely up to you. But a pencil and a piece of paper is really all you need. This week's drawing is all about negative space. So in a drawing, uh, area is split up into two types of space. There's positive space and negative space. Positive space is the part of the artwork where the subject is located. Usually what you draw is the positive space. And the negative space is the empty area around that subject. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is create a drawing of three things. You're going to choose three things that you cannot live without during this pandemic. The only thing you can't choose is your phone because everyone's gonna pick that and phones are lame. What I'd like you to do is think about uh, ways to create an interesting composition with those objects. And a composition is where you place those things on your page. So I'm gonna show you the one that I did. Here's my uh, drawing. So when you go to do your drawing, some things you wanna think about. Uh, put your objects on different angles. So this way, these things uh, create different shapes of space. You're going to do the drawing of each object using only contour lines. So they're just lines that show the outside edges uh, or details of a subject with uh, no shading. So just lines for each element. Still add the detail, but you don't have to shade anything. Then when you're done drawing all three objects, we're going to shade in the negative space. So let me show you how I did it. So the first thing that I did was I took a ruler and I drew a border around the edge of my paper. Now you do not have to do this, that's entirely up to you. If you choose to do a border, please don't make it any larger than an inch. I don't want you to end up with a tiny drawing. It should still fill the majority of the space on your paper. So now the first object that I drew for my drawing was a TV remote because uh, I love not having to get off the couch. So when I start this drawing, I always begin with basic shapes, which is a long rectangle for this. And then I started sketching in the uh, outer edges of the remote, so those rounded areas. Whenever I'm drawing, I use really kind of quick, sketchy lines to get the placement right. Then I'll pick the line that I like the best and I'll erase the rest of them. So don't feel like you have to get it right on the first try. Now after I have the outer edges drawn out, uh, I will start to add the details on the inside. As you can see, I keep changing my lines, right? I'll draw in a section, decide it's not in the right spot, erase it, and draw it again. This is what it takes to make a drawing that looks the way you want it to, right? Nobody gets it right the first time. So please uh, take your time, go slowly, really look at your subject, as you're working on this drawing, if you realize there's something you don't like, just erase it and try again, right? So I always recommend that you start drawing lightly. It's much easier to erase. And then when you're happy with your lines, you can go over them a little bit darker. Now I'm just adding the edges to make it a little bit more 3D. And now I'm moving on to my second object. Now my second object is a pillow. And it's uh, my favorite pillow because it's very comfortable. So again, I started with a basic rectangle shape and then rounded and curved the edges to get the shape I want and started adding in some uh, details. Now the third thing I'm drawing is a stack of books. I've been doing a lot of reading over this pandemic, uh, so I think that that's something that's perfect to add for this composition. By the way, you're looking at this whole drawing sideways. I'll tilt it again at the end so you can see it uh, the way I'm looking at it. And I started out by using basic shapes to block out the space of the books, and then I started adding some details. Now, I want these to look three-dimensional, so I've added the top of the books and the edges of the pages. And now I'm putting some little details uh, onto the spines and, the, and this top cover. It doesn't have to be a specific book, and I'm not doing any of the text on it because I'm not really good at lettering, so I decided to skip that. Okay, now that all the objects are done, I'm starting to shade in the background. 
It's really important with this drawing that you consider where you're placing each object on your page. You don't wanna put them straight in a row. You want the placement of your objects to create an interesting shape of negative space. So I am putting all of my objects at different angles and they're different sizes and they also extend to the edges of my uh, drawing space. Now, if you're not using a border, that might go right off the edge of the paper. Because I have a border, I've gone up to the edge of the border uh, in a few different places. The drawing's greatly sped up here, but as I'm shading in something, I'm going back over it with multiple different directions of strokes. And this helps to uh, fill in all the little spaces on the page, and it also helps eliminate uh, streakiness from the pencil. Now I'm gonna take a small piece of tissue and smudge all of this shading. This is really gonna help blend in all of my pencil marks so it doesn't look as choppy. Now, of course, this is going to get some pencil into my drawing and into my border. So the last thing I'll do is take an eraser and clean up all the little spaces where I don't want that pencil. So make sure that your drawing touches the edges of the page, that it has three things in interesting angles, that they're large, that they use only lines, and that you shade in the negative space. And there it is. All right, everyone, good luck making your negative space drawings. Remember, take your time, choose three things you can't live without during this pandemic, not your phone. When you're done drawing your objects, shade in the negative space. When it's all done, snap a photo, post it to the Google Classroom, and I'll see you soon.